Good afternoon, you're watching MTV's COVID-19 awareness program. We all should understand and know the importance of eating healthy and having a balanced diet that will boost our immune system and protect us from diseases. This short video from WHO is outlining the importance of nutrition. Nutrition is important at every stage of life. From the early years, optimal nutrition ensures children grow and thrive. School years are an important time to develop healthy habits. And these smart decisions should always be encouraged to ensure health and well-being for all, at all ages. Nutrition is particularly important at some stages of life, like during pregnancy. For enjoying a long healthy life, it is a good practice to have regular checkups and eat healthy diets. Optimal nutrition is one of the greatest gifts you can give yourself and your loved ones. Yeah, look, we must not forget that food is medicine. Again, we would like to encourage you all to stay healthy and eat healthy as well. Again, zinc is an essential mineral involved in the production of certain immune cells. Now, some food that contains zinc are oysters, baked beans, cashews, raisin bran, chicken peas, sunflower seeds, and pumpkin seeds. Now, Bradley, we've mentioned in our earlier session and I'd like to stress again, we're so lucky to have an abundance of organic food available. Of course, Dini, we, we are blessed, uh, like we've, we've discussed earlier, mm -hmm. on, on the many organic produce we have in our country. And uh, like we've discussed over the course of, of this program since day one, prevention is better than cure. Mm -hmm. And um, the good food that we have available in the country, make use of them and in, in, in right pro uh, proportions like mm -hmm. uh, what we had from, from the nutritionist earlier on. Yeah, and for outside centers, um, the ones, well, rural areas, you have an abundance of food, plant kai kai blog garden and stop, kisim dispel kai kai, prepare em good na kai kai, make sure it's balanced. Um, for us in the towns and cities, go to the market, buy something there and prepare a well-balanced meal to have and this will go a long way in helping your body fight yeah. diseases. Yeah, now. So some other options to take note of uh, to help strengthen your immune system are getting enough sleep and managing stress, avoid tobacco or smoking, uh, drink less alcohol, take your daily intake of water which is recommended to be about eight glasses which is equivalent to two liters. Stay tuned for more on COVID-19 when we return after these short me messages. Welcome back. You're watching MTV's COVID-19 awareness program. Dr. Tedros, the Director General for World Health Organization, had announced that three vaccines have already started clinical trials and more than 70 others are in development. More than 90 countries have joined or have expressed interest in joining the Sol Solidarity Trial and more than 900 patients have now been enrolled to evaluate the safety and efficacy of four drugs and drug combinations. Three vaccines have already started clinical trials. More than 70 others are in development. And we're working with partners to accelerate the development, production, and distribution of vaccines. In addition to the solidarity trial, I'm glad to say that WHO has convened groups of clinicians to look at the impact of corticosteroids and other anti-inflammatory drugs on treatment outcomes. Specifically, we're looking at oxygen use and ventilation strategies in patients. Any intervention that reduces the need for ventilation and improves outcomes for critically ill patients is important, especially in low resource settings, to save lives. Yeah, look, Bradley, 
with the vaccines now in trial, um, clinical trial, there is some sort of hope now, considering that the that toll has spiked over the last couple of weeks. Of course, there there is light at the end of the tunnel, you know, in yeah. in any situation. Um, we have a new disease at hand, and it's, it's a global giant, you know. Um, but from the video um, that we've just witnessed, um, there are authorities like WHO and yes. its partners globally working towards, you know, a vaccine to fight this uh, global pandemic. So there is hope at the end of the day um, for not only Papua New Guinea, where it's this disease is already present, but also others the world over. And we surely uh, pray that the vaccine comes sooner. Of course, of course. Now, the, the, moving on, there are already reports uh, out that the National Operation uh, Coordination Office uh, 19 is under lockdown. Uh, we understand there is already a demand for information on this. Yes. However, w the relevant authorities will make timely statements on the accurate information available on the subject. Um, when it is out, already we understand there is an emergency order uh, which has been issued by the controller uh, of not more than four people uh, crowding, crowding, mm -hmm. crowding any, 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 any space in, in Port Moresby. So that's already a message out for the people of, of, of Port Moresby uh, to take heed of. Um, we understand there's already contact uh, tracing taking place, but like we said, mm -hmm. the relevant authorities will come out and make the uh, accurate uh, information or announcements on this uh, when the information is available. That's all, you may must know, can lose thinking of Poreta. You may go out long, walk him this blow, when he's finished long, all man Mary blong, you may long behind him. Um, you may talk talk long social distancing. Mm -hmm. uh, display no now, that's all you may discuss. Uh. You may talk talk long display uh, long time ago, Pinisa, long alamas pla. So you should be walking mm -hmm. here long MTV na two all yeah. health authorities you walk long go out throughout long Papua New Guinea long karma display when uh, long wasimha na, na all kind of all, all school talkers. I'm um, now. Look, as Dr. Tedros mentioned during his address, solidarity is the rule of the game to defeat COVID-19. Now keep practicing your hand hygiene by washing your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Make sure you wash your hands with one soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Eat healthy, maintain social distancing and cover your cough or sneeze with a bended elbow or a tissue and dispose of the used tissue properly in an enclosed bin. Now. Please avoid touching your nose, mouth, and eyes uh, before washing your hands. Do wash, always wash your hands first before doing any of that. Now, to get updates on COVID-19 from credible sources, that's one of the things to remember. Get updates from uh, for COVID-19 from credible sources. We've been mentioning, repeating a lot of times already. When you are online, when you're sharing information as well, please look for credible sources and share information as well because you are communicating with the masses when you are online as well. And if you share the wrong information, this will lead to panic and fear. Now, for more information on COVID-19 update in the country and what is happening and what the authorities are doing, visit MTV online website and Facebook page for regular daily updates and also join our news team for stories as they happen. Before we go, MTV would like to thank the following partners Protex and Telecom, whose support has made this program possible to inform, educate, make aware, prepare and update Papua New Guinea nationwide on COVID-19. I live in now with Reverend Pastor Joseph Walters. I mentioned to you a little bit on the signs of the times in Matthew 24 and towards the end of that discourse or discussions that Jesus had his, with his disciples in Matthew 24, he mentioned later down in the chapter that as the days of Noah were, so will be the days in this world before the coming of the Son of Man. His name is Jesus Christ. And so in the days of Noah, as you know, all kinds of evil filled the earth. The, the whole earth was flooded with evil and God said he is going to put an end to mankind. He actually repented that he had made men. But the Bible says there was a 
righteous men called Noah, and Noah and his family of eight were the only ones that could enter into the ark. And the ark was the place of their refuge, protection, and they were hiding from the judgment of the flood that would come and drown the earth and drown every inhabitant, everything that lived upon the face of the earth. And so the message I'm trying to get to you in this short time is that in this time of trouble, like he, like he did to his children in Goshen, and like he did to the children, uh, Noah and his family in the ark, he will do to you and I in these days if we would dare to put our trust, faith, and confidence in him. And indeed, because we are now in the days of Noah, you and I must do all we can to get into the place of protection and safety and security like Noah is, it was in the ark. You and I, our ark is the Lord Jesus Christ, the presence and power of his mighty Holy Spirit. And I pray today, God, that Papua New Guinea will know their place of safety, protection, and security is in your ark called Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and the blood of Jesus. Amen.